Three islands making up the test site were linked together by causeways. These connecting roads were built to make it easy to get from island to island and to act as land platforms for some of the instrumentation. Situated on the zero island was the cab, or building, which housed the device. The mic device was known as a wet bomb because it used liquid hydrogen isotopes to create the thermonuclear reaction. This made the device very large, weighing some 62 tons, and impractical to use as a deliverable weapon. A plywood tube ran from the zero island across the causeways to a detection station on the farthest island, a distance of nearly two miles. This tube was filled with helium, allowing lethal radioactive rays faster travel to the detection station before the island was consumed by the fireball. You have a grandstand seat here to one of the most momentous events in the history of science. In less than a minute, you will see the most powerful explosion ever witnessed by human eyes. The blast will come out of the horizon just about there. And this is the significance of the moment. This is the first full-scale test of a hydrogen device. If the reaction goes, we're in the thermonuclear era. For the sake of all of us, and for the sake of our country, I know that you join me in wishing this expedition well. It is now 30 seconds to zero time. Put on goggles or turn away. Do not remove goggles or face burst until 10 seconds after the first light. Minus 15 seconds. Minus 10 seconds. Niner, eight, seven, six, five, -er. Three, two, 